If you're working with cultivated mushrooms, they tend to be a lot cleaner, like these shiitakes. So you want to take the shiitakes and you want to add them to some boiling water using a pitcher like this, or ideally if you have a French press, that's the best way to go because it has its own screen on it. If you're not using a French press, you're going to need to push down on the mushrooms with some kind of weight. You want to wait about 10 to 30 minutes until the mushrooms are tender, depending on the mushroom. Pull the mushrooms out, squeeze them, and then if you're working with shiitakes, you're going to have to cut out these little stems because they're like shiitake bubblegum. Now if you're working with wild mushrooms, I recommend a two-step soaking process. First, put them in warm water for about five minutes. And use my signature octopus fingers to agitate the mushrooms to get some of the grit off. Pull the mushrooms out, give them a squeeze, and then you're gonna to wanna to take them to the second stage of soaking, and here we're using that French press. So put the mushrooms into the bottom of the French press, pour boiling hot water over them, and then use the plunger to keep the mushrooms underneath the hot water. Check to see if they're tender, pull up the plunger, and then because the water's really hot, use a spoon or something to pull the mushrooms up and out. Now, you're gonna have all this wonderful liquid, both from the initial soaking water and from the second soak. And there's a couple ways to strain it because there's gonna be a lot of sediment and grit at the bottom. You can use coffee filters, you can use cheesecloth. The French press has its own built-in strainer in it, but just for safekeeping, I'm also gonna pour it through this cheesecloth. What you have left is gorgeous brown mushroom rehydration liquid. We might as well call it stock, it's just as good.